Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm expecting a worship experience today. I don't know about you, but I'm expecting a worship experience today. At this time, let us have an opening selection by our inspirational choir. I'm stumbling with my words, about to start talking in, in Spanish. <laughs> Hallelujah. Followed by the invocation of scripture. Let's just get it from our stomach, you know. Let's just churn it up from our bellies. I need. I need thee. And every hour. I feel 
Hallelujah. My Savior, I do to Thee. If you love Him, sing. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Father God, Lord, thank you. Oh, Lord, we just thank you for another day. Oh, Lord, our spirits are calling upon you, Lord. Oh, Lord, have your, your benevolence come into the room, Lord, and just touch each and every one of us. Oh, God, just touch right now. Send your healing power, Lord, that someone may be delivered today, that a prayer is answered, Lord. Oh, Lord, we just want to tell you, thank you and that we love you. Oh, God, just hallelujah. 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 Oh, God, it wasn't by our own will that we woke up this morning, Lord. You gave us another day, touching each and every one of us right now. Continue to bless this church and our pastor and the first lady, Lord. We ask you all these things in the mighty name, the name that delivers and the name that heals, the name that sets free, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, amen. And amen. for the reading of the scripture this morning by Minister Rashawn Kennedy. Scripture reading this morning will be coming from the 138 Psalms, verses one through three. I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship towards thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. The word of God for the people of God. You may be seated at this time. We will now have an opening selection by our inspirational choir. <laughs>
Hallelujah. An awesome God. You're about to go into our praise and worship. But I was trying to get that move they had going on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many know that God is worthy to be praised? How many know that God is worthy to be praised? On this morning, the song is, come on, let's bless the Lord. Did you come to bless the Lord? Did you come to give God the praise? Did God wake you up this morning? Did God touch your body? We're here to give God the praise. Come on, put your hands together. Come on. Listen to the words that the song says. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord. Bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord. Bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord. Bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord. Bless the Lord with me. Your hands with me. Come on and clap your hands. Clap your hands with me. Come on and clap your hands. Clap your hands with me. Come on and clap oh. your hands. Clap your oh. hands. Oh, we glad to be back and forth to the doctor. Can't get rid of this ear 
problems. Can't get rid of this headache on the Whoa. right side. Face is numb. Uh, but I told God, God, every time you heal me, every time you make a way for me, I'm going to give you the praise. Uh, so while I was in my house, uh, I kept saying, hallelujah. 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 He is still there. Hallelujah. 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 I the eased up. <laughs> Hallelujah. After a while, the pain needs up. I kept saying, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The ears started releasing. Hallelujah. The ears started giving me life. Hallelujah. I started being able to move my head. Hallelujah. I started being able to feel life. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
What's next? And then sometimes you're just wondering how you're going to make it through. I know about me. I, I pull up to a parking lot and I'm just saying, oh God, oh God, give me the strength, Lord, oh God. Oh Lord, just continue to cover me, oh God. I need a retouch, Lord. Oh God, just continue to cover us. Continue to cover us, Lord. Oh, Lord, just continue to cover us, Lord. Hallelujah. So that's why we exalt him. That's why we exalt him. Hallelujah. My soul, oh, Lord. And all we got to do is open our hearts. And let the praise go up, let it go up, oh Lord. Ah, hallelujah. Ah. I know this is not my song, but I sing it. I, I sing it all the time. I, say, I love you, Jesus. I worship. Just one. Lord, I love you more. Hold on, you go. We go make it. We go make it. Hold on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they said no, he said yes. Hallelujah.
We're going to have to take a victory lap within the service, but not now. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. everything behind and today just keep moving forward hallelujah at this time let us receive the first lady of this house evangelist vicky hughes to welcome our visitors good morning everyone i stand before you to welcome the visitors um well first of all giving honor to God, to the shepherd of this house, Pastor Bruce Elliott Hughes Sr., to the elders, ministers, to the church mother, her absence, to the missionaries, and everyone that's assembled on today. I first of all would like to thank you all for coming and coming to St. Steve to worship with us. And uh, we have joined with us, uh, we have those this, uh, visiting us first time on live stream, but as well as uh, we have all the way from Tampa, Florida, we have um, Sister Ashley Kennedy and Minister Elect Kennedy's family. We have Kay Davis, and I may say this wrong, <laughs> Fayel Lafon, I may say that wrong, sorry, forgive me. Uh, we have Kathy Davis and Mae Murphy and Gloria Davis, and uh, they attend Peace Community Church. And as stated before, on the behalf of our pastor, Elder Bruce Hughes, I would like to welcome you to St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ. We are so happy that you are here and that you decided to come and visit with us. And we hope you enjoy. If there's anything that you need, please do not hesitate in asking someone, and we will try to get it for you. Thank you again. Amen. Amen. Give him a hand, please. Thank you for worshiping up with us this morning. I'm trying to contain myself. I just want to have church, but we have a speaker. And, <laughs> and although I can't sing very well, I try to sing all the time. So I love the Lord, and I won't. I love. I love the Lord and I won't take it back. He has been so good to me. I love the Lord and I won't take it back. I love the Lord. I love the Lord and I won't take it back. I love the Lord. I love the Lord and I won't take it back. He has been, he has been so good.
At this time, let us welcome the Children's Church under the direction of Evangelist Rhonda Gregory, my sister in Christ. Receive her with an amen. I love the Lord and I want. I love and I won't take it back. children to come up. I'm going to ask all the children, they are ushering today. Don't they look beautiful? I know they have new uniforms on, the blue for the summer. That is beautiful. Our kids are doing devil duty today, y'all. Praise God. We give honor to our pastor on this morning, no other than Elder. Bruce Elliott Hughes, we thank God for the First Lady. We just thank God for this opportunity that God gives us on the second and fourth Sunday to come forth with our children. And we have a wonderful lesson on today, but we're going to start off with our prayer. And Caden is praying this morning. Master Caden Davis. We thank for the Bible. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus. We bless you. Oh, we be happy to keep you safe. And we bless all for saving your people. And thank you all for blessing me all for the name of Jesus. Amen. We have Lilani Parker praying. Let me see, I mean, doing the scripture. This young lady really reads, y'all. I'm enjoying her, her little reading. She just goes right in it. Here you go. You can do it. I know you can. You can do it. Right here. The king. The king. The kings of no, the no, kings. No, 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 Okay, what's next on the agenda? Oh, uh, lesson review. Our lesson review by who? Missionary Rhonda Gregory. All right. We met on Tuesday night, the children, and we just went over a little lesson, and we're trying to come on over here. Arilla, for the real is my helper today. Okay, she's a willing helper today. We went over our lesson. Our theme was, do anybody remember what we talked about? What was it, little Freddie? Right. What are we going to be reading? What's important to read? Uh-huh. All right, so we're saying our theme is delight in God's word. How are we going to delight in his word? By reading his book. By reading what book? The Bible, okay. And what's in this book? Everything you need to uh, be saved. Okay, everything you need. Okay, can you tell me some characters in the book? Who, Who's in this book? Tell me a person that's in here that you know that's in there. God. God, okay. Who else knows somebody that's in the Bible? Come down here and tell me. Joseph. Turn around and tell them. They might not know. Tell them who. Joseph. Joseph. All right. Come on. Somebody else tell me who's in the Bible. Jonah. Jo How do you know Jonah in the Bible? Did you read about him? It's Go ahead. You got it. 
There are Bible stories on YouTube. All right. Okay, are the stories in the Bible true? Who say yes? How you know it's true? Come here, I need to hear that. What you saying? Because they might not know. Because God made the word. And, the and word Moses, is, and the word is true. And God helped Moses write the word too. So Moses was one of the writers in the Bible, right? Now I ask some of y'all, what is your favorite book? Freddie. A Diary of the Whoopi King. There's Wimpy and I forgot one um the first name was it. And um it was um which a diary would be kid had a friend, but I forgot his name. Okay. Now listen y'all, y'all laughing at him, but they had to tell what their favorite book was. And that was one of his favorite. And on Tuesday night, I showed them a whole lot of books. And one of them was the Barron family. That's right in this church, which is a real, not a real, which is a realist daddy. Didn't your daddy and mommy write a book? Yes. They wrote a children's book. Yes. Let's give them a hand. And if y'all, if you would like to buy a book, See, see Deacon Barron on today, but they have some beautiful books. I think I brought them all, and I have read them all. And I asked the kids, how many of y'all like to read? Okay, read, read, read. Who else? Oh, you, you're not a reader. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. He going to get to that because he wants some money. So they have to learn a scripture this summer. And on September, I want them to tell me what the scripture is. They can't read it out of the book, but you got to tell me what the scripture is. And then they have another devil cha challenge. If they read a chapter book, right? Is that right, little Freddie? Is that right? A chapter book, I said? Then y'all get what? More money. You get what? You get more money. More money? You get more money. Yeah? Okay, and your parents have to sign off on you. You just ain't getting money, but I want to know the scripture, and I want to know the chapter book that you read over the summer. Reading is knowledge, okay? And I'm telling you, this Bible right here, you will not go wrong following it. Thank you, children. Amen. Come on, one more time. Let's give our children, amen, a hand ovation. We thank God for Missionary Rhonda Gregory. Amen. Her team. Amen. With a heavy heart on today. Amen. The Broughton's family. Amen. Today will be the last day worshiping with us. So I'm calling Dennis, Travis, Logan, and Taylor. Amen. Please come here. We want to hear a testimony for you. Their father's in the military. They'll be leaving us soon. That's going to give you the location. Amen. We want to hear from them. Amen. And then we want to pray for them. All right. I'm gonna really miss y'all and hope y'all pray for me because like like life in the Navy is you travel a lot and you go to new churches, you meet new friends and for me life is just amazing with Navy. I'm really gonna miss this church because this was the best church. Being a military child is hard. I'm really going to miss this church. And I love all of you. I'm going to miss all you. I'm going to miss all you. In this church, like I've been saying in my prayers, I'm gonna miss 
all of you and every single one of you. This is the best church I've ever been to and I don't want to leave it. Amen. And mom, please stay, mom. Amen. Amen. You have anything to say? spend time with them. In fact, a few Fridays ago, we uh, had a going away party. We had a ice cream social. We had pizza. We had games. And we just had a glorious time because we loved them. As we accept the members, watch care members of St. Stephen's, we want to send them out with prayer, let them know that the St. Stephen Church family, we love you. Amen. We thank God for spending time with you. And of course, we love Taylor. Amen. She's special. Amen. She can talk, I tell you. So I, um, so their, their brother was sick one time and, and you know, they spent some time with us. So Taylor was just talking. She was talking and talking. And she says, 8 o'clock, and I'm getting tired. So she started to wind down. I was just amazed because she was just going and going and going. Amen. When she got tired, she stopped talking. Amen. So we want to pray for them for their, when they travel to their destination. Amen. That their God would overshadow them and they will find friends and find a church family. Amen. As they've been, they found here at St. Stephen. So let us pray with them. Amen. Have you known them already? Man, I know Missionary Gregory is going to miss her. Missionary Rhonda Gregory, Sister Deborah Gregory. Amen. Look at the ushers on today. Don't they look beautiful on today? Amen. We thank God for you. Future church. Hallelujah. 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 The Spirit is instilled in them in 10, 15, 20 years from now. Who knows? You have a blessed family. Hallelujah. Okay. God is a good God, I tell you. It's time that we go into the ministry of giving. We, um, if you have your ties, if you need your tie envelope, just raise your hand and the usher will serve you. You can share your ties through Giblify or via the credit card machine or check is fine just for today's date. Cash always works. I have an offering from, I think it's Ronnie Ford, and then 
Ties an offering from Elder Fenner. Ties an offering from Elder Roderick O'Keefe Rose. I ask all to stand. Hallelujah. Oh, precious Father, Lord, bless this offering, Lord. Bless those that have and those that don't have to give. Continue to bless us, Lord, and watch over us, Lord. Lord, in everything that we do, we ask you in the powerful name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. privilege to introduce our speaker, and I have to go a la carte because I don't have a bio, so I'm going to have to look at him as I'm introducing him. <laughs> when I met uh, Elder Elect Jerry Wilson, that was about 14 years ago, I walked into the sanctuary, Elder Hughes also was here, but he was one of the uh, deacons that uh, kind of walked me through everything, and I remember him saying to me, just go into the sanctuary, and I was saying, well, where is that? Because I didn't know Christ. I didn't even know anything when it came to God. So he was a mentor for me uh, during that time frame. He's a husband to one wife, Sister Barbara Wilson. And then I know he's a dad to my, one of my sisters in Christ, is uh, Sister Vadia Bird, missionary Bird. Father-in-law to Miss Minister Bird, James Bird, grandfather to 4J. His son Anthony is, Tony is here. Very, um, talking with him, I can see that him and his father have a lot of conversations, but he's a very intellectual guy. Um, he's a very quiet man, but he's powerful. I've seen him in ministry of singing, and he's a very powerful singer. He sings from his heart. He also lives the way he, he sings, and he, I mean, he's constantly in the word, and 
he tells stories about how it used to be in the old days. Uh, how we were always, they were always in church. Um, I always enjoy listening to him. I'm pretty sure that the word that he has to, uh, to give today is one that God has personally touched him about. And I say touch because he, God reaches us that way to deliver what we have to say. So after this choir sings one of their, can I say, sermonic choices selections, choices selection, all the way from SeaTac, <laughs> 189 South Birthday Road. <laughs> the next voice that you're going to hear is from Elder Jerry Wilson. When he gets up here, just receive him with a powerful amen. I'm making it out all right. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you again for allowing us to be here. No goodness of our own, Lord, but I thank you. Lord, I ask you to look on us right now. Your people, Lord, we are here, oh God. 
because of you, because of your mercy and your grace. We thank you, O oh God, for the breath in our bodies. Lord, we're not in the hospital on today, but we're in the sanctuary, and we came to praise your name. Lord, your people need a word on today, Lord. Just a little encouragement, Lord. But Lord, endow me to give that encouragement on today. Lord, strengthen me, O oh God. Use me in your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord, in my life. Have your way in this service. Have your way, O oh God, right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord, keep us and we shall be kept. Lord, use me, oh God. Use me today, Lord. Lord, I give myself to you. I open my heart to you, Lord. Use my hands, Lord. Use my feet, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. As we go further in your word, Lord, give me what to say. Just to encourage your people. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank God. You may be seated. Thank God for another opportunity. Thank God for being saved and sanctified. And I give an honor to my pastor, the Honorable Elder Bruce Elliott Hughes, whom I've been knowing for quite a long time. Took one of his siblings some years ago. And I still got that sibling. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give an honor to all of the elders, Elder Ortez, for that fine introduction. My son-in-law, Elder Jane Bird, Elder Rose, Minister-elect Kennedy, and I hope I didn't forget anybody. And all the, uh, the ministers and elders that are not here on the day, we miss them today and we pray for them on today. Thank God for my children. I didn't have a bio, so you didn't get to hear all the names of all the children, but there's five of them, and we love each and every one of them. And that daughter is just outstanding. She is just outstanding. She's a jewel. My wife and I love her so much. When you come by the house, we just don't want her to leave. Just try to keep her. And my wife keeps saying, she got to go. She got to go. But I just keep talking and talking because... We realize, you know, she has a family that she has to take care of. But Ella James Bird don't mind. He don't mind. But I thank God for being here on today. I promise I won't be before you long. But as a Broadneck family, as Ella Hughes was saying, they just brought tears to my eyes. And so the Lord dropped a little song in my heart that I would like to dedicate to them, if it's all right, with Pastor Hughes. If J.B. might can find me on the organ somewhere. We cannot see in the future. We cannot see through dark clouds. We cannot see through teardrops, but walk on, walk on by faith. Let me say it again. We cannot see in the future we cannot see through dark clouds no we cannot see 
through teardrops but walk on by faith each day on Monday walk on on Tuesday walk on he's able to carry the load he can see way down the road to walk home by faith each day on Monday walk home on Tuesday, walk on. He is able. He's able to carry the load. He can see way down the road. Walk on by faith. Walk on by faith each day. We want you to walk on by faith on your travel, wherever the Lord leads you, wherever the Lord is taking you. But walk on by faith. Just remember he is carrying you. He's there to protect you. And he will keep you. God bless you. We love you. We love you. We love you. I'm going to jump into the Word for a few minutes. God bless you. Thank God for the 95th year anniversary. Hallelujah. And I'm a part of it. And you are a part of it. And we thank God. Better put some glasses on. Some helpers. As we get older, we need certain things to keep us going. And it's a blessing that the Lord gave the doctors wisdom enough to know how to give us something to help us to read. So you don't have to lead us around when we get older. That we can put them on and we can make it on our own with the help of the Lord. And the word of the Lord, I would like to go to Ephesians on today just for a few moments. Better take a drink, excuse me. Need this to help. Yes, Ephesians chapter 2. And I'm going to read down to the eighth verse. And you have he has he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. Wherein, in times past, ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh, wor that worketh in the children of disobedience. We're not talking about little children like we have here on the usher board. We're talking about these Adult children of God. But they know disobedience because we know when children are little, they act like children. Just like we did when we were children. But when the Lord saved us and we became his children, sometimes we can become disobedient. Verse 3, and among whom also we all had our conversations in times past and the lust of our flesh. Fulfilling that desire of the flesh and of the mind. And were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us. Even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. 
by grace ye are saved and have raised us up together you are not all by yourself for where there is more of us we are together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the exceedingly riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Sanctify the truth down in our hearts. I'd like to talk a little bit today from Ephesians. We're talking about Paul and also being delivered. Anybody need to be delivered on today? And I searched myself as I was studying this. Lord, is there something that I need to be delivered from? Lord, is there something that I'm not doing that I need to be delivered? We've come in the new year already. And so many have made promises to themselves and to God that I'm going to do better. Lord, if you just deliver me from my slowfulness, I'm going to do better. I'm going to attend service more. I'm going to pray more. I'm going to fast more. But when we look back and we say, Lord, I need to be delivered because I promised you I would do this and that but I didn't do it. And he's a forgiving God. He's a merciful God. And he will keep you. And he will forgive you. The Apostle Paul was writing in this um, message here, his letter, he was writing to the believers in Ephesus to encourage and to help them realize that they lay hold of the riches of Christ Jesus. There is some riches there that God has that we are striving to get. We are trying to reach a point in him. That's why we want to be delivered. We don't want any hindrance in our spirit. We don't want any hindrance in our lives. Because if we do, then that's going to slow us down. That's going to keep God from putting his blessings on us. So we want to be delivered from everything that's not like him. Paul showed them that the overflowing goodness of God, there's an overflowing of his spirit that we are striving to get. We come to the altar and we come to prayer and we pray and we ask God to overflow us with that goodness, with that grace, and with an open heart, we come to him and ask him to power us and to forgive us and to endow us with his power. He wrote to the Ephesians to encourage their lives worthy of God calling and a spirit of great gratitude. We want to give God gratitude. We want to appreciate what he has already done. He has done so much for us. And he is keeping us day by day. Keeping us out of the hospital. Keeping us all day long. Keeping us going keeping us on our jobs. So many are laid off, but he's keeping us on our jobs, and we don't, won't tell him thank you. Won't give him the praise. But it's him in his greatness and his mercy and his kindness. But we want to be delivered. We want to be delivered from this heartfelt sickness. There is some that are feeling so lonely. Ask God to deliver you. He will do it, and we will pray with you that God will deliver you. He will deliver you from your sickness, brokenheartedness. We've had people that pass on to die in our families, but sometimes we hold on to that hurt. Month after month, year after year, but God is saying, give it to me, I'll carry it. Give it to me, I'll bear it. You're not going to forget your loved one. You're not going to forget what they have been in your life. But God will take that pain. He will ease the pain and give you the memories, give you fond memories that you would enjoy just remembering about that loved one. 
We want to pray more. Lord, deliver me from not praying. Deliver me from not fasting. Seem like you just got to eat. Seem like you're just just hungry. And you're working when you're at home all day long. All you think about is the refrigerator. You know you got to open that. And look in there, you got to do this. And when you're taking care of other people, then the food is already there. You're preparing it. You're smelling it. But you're fasting. Sometimes the hurt that you feel in your stomach when you're fasting, I think God gets the glory out of that. You are hurting because you're trying to better yourself. You're trying to better the spirit. You're trying to get closer to God. So, Lord, deliver me from giving in to this uh, food, giving in to weakness. Forgive me, Lord, for I want to come to church, but I, I'll wait till they start. I'll wait till the service get going good, and then I'll show up. Forgive me, Lord. For I should be there when the door is unlocked. I should be there when they get ready to pray. I should be in this service. Because I need the service. How am I going to make it on tomorrow? Haven't been to church in two weeks. Haven't prayed. Haven't fasted. How am I going to make it? Lord, forgive me. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me. For I need you, oh God. Speaking kindly, I want to speak kindly to other people. I don't mind sitting on a pew with somebody else. Although they're not my cousin, they're not my sister, my brother. But it's all right, I can sit on a pew with you because we're believers. We trust in God. God is in the building and we come to praise God. And we come to praise him together. And your testimony will encourage me. And hopefully my testimony will encourage you. But if you just be friendly, it's in order to make a friend, you have to be friendly. But deliver me from all things that are not like you, Lord. Oh, Lord, the bondage of sin. We don't want to go back into sin. For he washed us and he cleansed us. And we were happy. And we were all our way. And he came back and he gave us the Holy Ghost. He gave us the keeping power. He gave us that anointing that we can live day by day. And Lord, I want to share it. Let me share it. Let me share it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. For he delivered so many. Just look how he delivered Daniel. And the lion's den. There were some that were against him. And they put him in the lion's den. The king didn't want to do it, but he put him in there because of the decree. And then the king was worried all night. He couldn't sleep. But he came that morning, and first thing he did is holler, Oh, Daniel. And what did he say? Oh, king, live forever. I am fine. He locked the lion's mouth. I had, wasn't eaten up. Paul and Silas was locked in jail. God delivered them. The Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace, he delivered them. And then we want to be fiery furnace. We want to be, keep that fire burning on the inside. And then I woke, somebody who told me the other day, he said, I don't want to come to y'all church because y'all jump up and you scare me. Y'all like to jump up, but I say we jump up because there's a fire. Can you sit on fire? Can you stick your hand to the stove and don't pull it back? But when you sit on fire, fire burns, and you jump because the fire is burning inside of us, and we want to keep burning. We want to keep the fire burning. We want to keep going. We want the Holy Ghost. There's ever fire burning down in the inside that you will be able to keep us and be able to share it with somebody else. If you're on the seat and the fire is burning and you jump up, I should be willing to jump up too. Lord, send that fire down the pew. Just don't let me sit there. I want to be delivered. 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 
Hallelujah. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us. Hallelujah. 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 Let the Lord deliver you. Let to deliver you from those sickness. If you ask him, he will do it. He will do it. He will do it. I know he will. Because he said he will. But we got to live holy. We got to live righteous. We got to be delivered from things that are not like him. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when you find religion, you're being rescued. So if you're going to be rescued from the evil ways, if you're going to be rescued from those trying times, you want to be rescued and you want to be delivered, just fall on your knees. Pray to God. Ask him to deliver you. Ask him to forgive us. Forgive me for all this unrighteousness. Shortcomings. Shortcomings, short-tempered. Spouses can't get along together. What's wrong? Hallelujah. 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 He's a deliverer. He's a deliverer. I ain't been in nobody's house. I don't visit that often. But I don't know what's going on, but God knows that if you need a deliverance, if you need peace, if you've been troubled in your mind, if you've been troubled over and over, and you know God can deliver you, and you say, pray for me, but you don't accept it, full-heartedly because you carry it right back home and start it all over again. But be fully delivered on today. Be de fully delivered from the hurt and the pain. God can do it. God can do it. He can enlighten you. There's a prayer that they, that they pray, deliverance prayer. And it goes something like this. Dear Lord, I admit that I am a sinner, only saved by grace, and have done many things that do not please you. I admit that I have lived my life only for myself, getting up every day just like I woke myself up, getting up, stepping out on my own, getting dressed, not even thanking God for what he has done. It's not so. And I'm sorry. Sorrowful heart. God will look at that sorrowful heart. He will look at the tears in you when you are repenting. He will look at it and he will take that and he will bless you. He will come down and touch you. He said, please forgive me. I believe that you died on the cross for me. I believe that you saved me and you rose again. We got to thank God for Jesus. We have to thank him. We got to thank him. We got to keep praising him. Praise him on today. Ask him for deliverance. He will deliver you. He will deliver you. I know it for myself. How I used to come out, you deacon board, I used to sit in that same where the elderly like minister like Kennedy is sitting. I was fine sitting in that corner. I was in church, but you know, there was more to it than coming and sitting on that one pew. And nobody would, would somebody, you know, would take that seat. You feel like, you know, where am I going to go now? I sit there every Sunday. Where am I going to sit? But the church is big. As long as you're in the house of God, sit wherever. We have no assigned seats yet. And I don't think Elder Hughes is going to give us one. 
But when you sit on this seat, don't come in and have a, a specific seat to come in that we can sit. I know we have a missionary's board and we have a deacon's board, but if you want to sit there, I don't think they would mind. The closer you are to the altar, the better off you are. This is where the fire is going to be burning. This is where you're going to get delivered. This is where you're going to get set free. And you can do it by just coming to the altar. You can be nervous. It doesn't matter. But once you get up here, that nervousness is going to leave. That desire that you had to go back to your seat and run back, you're going to forget about that because the prayer of the saints. The water is going to be troubled right here at the altar. It's going to be troubled. And when you come down here, come with an open heart. Saying, Lord, deliver me from anything that's not like you. Deliver me, oh God, on today. Deliver me and wash me clean. Deliver me that I might be set free. Lord, deliver me that I be able to work with my brother and my sister. Deliver me that I might be able to love everybody. And we talk about driving down the highway. Lord, deliver me. Sometimes I'm going slow. They're going around me. And I'm trying to do the speed limit. So, Lord, forgive me because I speed up. I'm trying to keep up. I go ahead and do 60, 65. And I tell my wife, I said, I'm going 65 and everybody's still going past me. <laughs> Lord, if I'm wrong, forgive me. But I'm just trying to stay out of the way. I'm just trying to make it home, trying to make it to church. But, Lord, I want the Lord to forgive me. I want to make it in. I want to make it in. I want this journey to be, not to be said, you know, when I get there, I want to say, well done. I want him to say, well done. Thy good and faithful servant. I got to come up. I know there's some things I might need to pull up on. But Lord, help me to pull up on it. Help me to pull up. Help me to pull up on it, Lord. Show me myself. I'm not perfect. Show me where it is that I need to come. Show me if I need to go and beg pardon to somebody. Show me, oh God, if I need to give respect to the presidents of these auxiliaries. Lord, we have great presidents of these auxiliaries. Lord, let's fall in line. Lord, deliver us. On today, deliver us. Lord, I want to thank you. Thank you. Paul wrote to the Ephesians. He wanted to encourage them. And all I want to do to encourage, I'm not throwing stones. We don't throw stones because one might come back and hit you. So we just pray and we try to live holy and try to keep, treat everybody right. In this walk of life, this is holiness. Holiness is right. Holiness is right. Holiness is right. And we can be forgiven for anything that's not like him. I ask you all to pray my strength in the Lord. That I will be one that God is calling for in the last and evil days. Lord, let me stand. Hallelujah. 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 Just want to be right. Just want to be saved. Just want to be right. Just want to be right. Just want to be right. Hallelujah. 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 Just want to be right. Just want to be saved. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. I pray that everyone in the building on today get something from the Lord. Be delivered. Be set free. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Lord, I give you the glory. Give him the honor. Give him the praise. He has the keeping power. He has the keeping power. He has it and he's willing to give it to you. Hallelujah. I thank God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name on today. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we pray for the next generation that they will be holy. They will catch on to this sanctification. I want all my children to live holy. Lord, save them. Save them, Lord. Give them a do right mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I pass off the scene, that one of them, or all of them, will catch hold and say, I'm going to live like my parents lived. I want to live holy. Lord, save them. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, I hope I've said something today to encourage somebody's heart. Lord, help us and keep us, Lord. Keep me in your prayer. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for what you have done, Lord. Lord, it was you. Lord, I did what you had me to do. So, Lord, I do that in your name. And I give you the praise and I give you the honor. It's not me, Lord, but it's you. It's you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. And we give your name the praise. And the glory and the honor it shall be thine. In Jesus' precious name, amen. And amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Forgive me. Hallelujah. 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 The altar is open. Anybody that don't know Christ and you want to give him a try, I guarantee that you will not be sorry that you did. Regeneration. You want to rededicate your life to Christ. If you want just a little more power, if you just want a little more grace, a little more patience, God will give it to you. We will pray for you. We will pray with you. We will help hold you up. All you got to do is come down to the altar, and we will be glad to pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, look on this young man, Lord. 
Strengthen him, oh God. Give him the desire of his heart. Lord, oh God, keep him. Oh God, touch his heart. Touch his mind, Lord. Touch right now. In the name of Jesus. Touch, oh God. Lord, deliver. Deliver and set free. Oh God. Lord, you know his heart. You know his mind. Lord, you know where he's been. You know where he's going. Protect him and keep him, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Put running in his feet. Put clapping in his hands. Oh God, let him use his voice for you. Oh God, sanctify him holy. Right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Keep Lord. Keep Lord. Keep him, Lord. Keep him. Keep him. Keep him, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Just rededicating his life. He want to rededicate his life. What a great situation. What a great thing to do. God will just rededicate you. He never left you. He never left you. He never forsaked you. So you want to come back and get a double portion. That's all right. God is here. He is willing. Open up your heart. Open up your mind. Just say yes. Just tell him yes. Just tell him yes. Yes, I will do your will. Yes, I will obey. Yes, I will pull up. Yes, I will take care. Yes, Lord. Tell him yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm rededicating my life to you. I will do better. I will believe you. I will trust you. Oh, God. Hallelujah. 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 Just tell him thank you. Thank you for rededicating our lives to you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Look, oh, Mother Lord. Touch her right now, Lord. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Lord, she needs you. Lord, she wants you. Lord, she desires more of you. Touch right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Keep, oh, God. Keep them, Lord. Keep them as a couple. Keep them, oh God. Bless their marriage. Look on them, oh God. Strengthen, Lord, where strength is needed. Oh God, give them the desires of their heart as they live for you. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Bless them, oh God, as they go, Lord. Bless them, oh God, as they go in peace. Oh God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Look at my brother. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh God. He is your servant. Oh God, he's your servant. Oh God. Give him strength, Lord. Touch his mind, Lord. Touch him right now yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Look on him, oh God, yes. as he go day by day, yes. as he travel, oh God, yes. as he deal with work, yes. oh God, yes. as he do, oh God. Yes. Touch right now yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Give him strength, Lord. Yes. Strengthen him spiritually. Yes. Strengthen, oh God. Yes. Strengthen him, Lord. Yes. Financially, Lord. Yes. Bless him, oh God. Yes. You know what he needs. Yes. You know what he needs. Yes. Oh God, bless him. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. As he go, oh God, in you. As he walk in you day by day, Lord. Keep him, oh God. Keep him, Lord. Keep him, Lord. Keep him, Lord. Put an angel all about him. Put an angel around him. Put an angel, oh God. Let him go with him day by day. Day by day, Lord. Day by day, as he pray to you. Yes, Lord. We tell him yes. 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 Yes, keep yes in your heart. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Our brother, oh God. Lord, he prays you so, Lord. He prays you, oh God. He loves you, oh Lord. He loves you, Lord. And he prays you so much, Lord. Oh God, give him the glory. Give him the glory. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's saying yes. Oh God. Keep his body strong. 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 Keep his body strong
A message. I was trying to recollect that song that he delivered me. I cried out to the Lord and he delivered me. Is that how it go again? I cried to the Lord, he delivered me. I cried and I cried. One day I cried.
Hallelujah. Yay. Deliver me from everything that is not like him. So when I just take a look back where I was before, and I see where I'm at today, and where he's going to take me tomorrow, hallelujah. He deliver, yeah. Woo. I got to stay up here. There was one time we had a baton and we just be running around. I would just be passing the baton around. But we had the victory. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. This Puerto Rican ah, kept me when I didn't want to be kept. Woo. He's just, the spirit is just moving in the room. I just. Although Wilson said that we jump up because there's a fire. There's a fire. 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 There's a fire. Fire. Are you fuego? Fire. Hallelujah. Fire. Something on the inside. And when you're around sanctified folks, you can feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. And all you want to do is touch somebody because there's some healing power. Hallelujah. I can't hear nobody. Hallelujah. The same way that he shared what God has given him to nourish our spiritual hunger. That's what I like to say. The same way that we should show him the love and sharing the, the way he shared with us and give him an, have an offering for him. So if um, those that are willing to share, I ask you to stand. You can share through GiveTheFi or through normal currency. But um, I know he doesn't do it for this. I know that he does it because God has... Yes, sir, that's the way. All standing... Oh, precious Father, Lord, bless this offering. Bless those that are giving and those that have a desire to give. But most of all, Lord, continue to bless Elder Wilson and his family, Lord. Continue to bless him and guide him through everything that he does. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen and amen. Tell you, at this time, let us receive 
missionary Tanika Rashada Antoinette Ortiz for our announcements. Y'all give Elder Ortiz a prayer, not a hand clap, a prayer. We thank the Lord. We bless the Lord for the rich word. Sometimes we, we need rich word like that. That'll keep us, amen. And I thank God. The word comes to not only encourage you, but to rebuke you, reproof you, amen. And I'm paraphrasing, but it helps us to live this life that he calls us to live. So we thank God for Daddy Wilson, as I call him. Amen. For doing what thus saith the Lord. I stand before you to give you the announcements for St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ. If you didn't know where you were at, amen. 189 South Birdneck Road, Virginia Beach, Virginia. The historical community of SeaTac, where the pastor is none other than the shepherd. Amen. The man that has a street named by him. Amen. Elder Bruce Elliott Hughes Sr. Oh, we can give our shepherd a better hand than that. We thank God for the man of God. We thank God for the man of God. If you didn't know, we had been in a, we have been in our church anniversary all uh, this well last week, uh, the eighth through the tenth. Amen. Um, wonderful services. Um, I've been told. Amen. Uh, and our closeout, the climax of the matter, is today at 5 p.m. And we'll have our sister church. Uh, New Community Temple from Portsmouth, Virginia, and our prelate, which is the pastor, Bishop Mark Thomas, who will be the speaker, and that will be tonight at 5 p.m. Amen. And please come out, participate in that service. Uh, it's the 95th anniversary, amen, that this church has been. Oh, we, we, we need to bless the Lord on that. And the ability during COVID that we were still open, amen. The Lord gave our pastor vision, and we were able to come online quickly, amen, and continue services and then remain open with appropriate, you know, protocol and guidance from CDC. We thank the Lord for that. Tomorrow, June 13th, we will have our vision meeting that will be at 7 p.m. I believe the minutes has already been dispersed out. I'll make sure that I do another email to the larger uh, congregation. And those that are in respective leadership positions, our pastor is looking for reports or summaries in regards to your auxiliary. Please, please be on time. He is a man that starts on time tomorrow at 7 p.m. And then on the 16th, we will resume with our YPWW. Uh, and then somebody say the 19th. Ah, oh, we like to call that Daddy Day in our house, amen. But it's Father's Day, all right. We know that we are quick to celebrate the mothers, but somebody said it take two, come on, yeah. So we thank God for the men in our life. We thank God for the fathers, and we're going to celebrate them on the 19th, amen. Those of you who hadn't called your daddy, go on and call him, amen. Call him and tell him that you appreciate him. May not be what you think he should be, but he is your daddy. And if you don't have a daddy, you daddy is went on and sleeping, amen. Or you may not have one, know that God is your father, amen. He's a father to the fatherless, amen. And then the 22nd through the 24th, we will be in our state women's convention. Amen, and that will be held at our headquarters, of course, New Community Temple, amen, the 22nd through the 24th. And then we will end the month with Women's Day, amen. And our speaker will be none other than Evangelist Rachel Brown, amen. Amen. We thank God. She's a Sunday school goer. So, honey, we get a little sermonette every Sunday. We thank God for her knowledge. <laughs> and we're praying her stead. Amen. Uh, so that she can bring us a great word. I just want to place in your hearts in this form that uh, we will be having vacation Bible school. Yes, sir. Uh, and it's been two years because of the climate that we were not able to have it. So we bless the Lord that our pastor has said that we can have it. It will be a condensed version. It will be three nights and it will be July 20th through the 22nd. That's Wednesday through Friday. Vacation Bible School is for the young and the old. And I'm giving this announcement by, uh, on behalf of none other than our superintendent, Missionary Jacqueline Williams, amen. We thank God. Registration, early registration is open. Again, that is not a requirement, 
but it is an assistance to the Vacation Bible School, and it's only $5, amen. You can pre-register. If you don't plan to attend, then pre-register for some babies. Some folk may not be able to do that, so pre-register for them because, as Mother Tally says, we are helpers one to another. So the Vacation Bible School, July 20th through the 22nd, nightly here at 6 p.m., and for those of you who have not seen our superintendent on providing additional support, I believe she has everything that she needs, but go see her and tell her what you can do and assist with. We're looking for a grand time, and the theme is biblical figures. And I thought about it, them little babies up here were talking about their favorite books. Let y'all know, I knew who Diary of the Whipping Kid was. I got, I got a teenager in my house, so I knew what he was talking about when he said it was a favorite book. But we bless the Lord that we will be discussing our biblical figures this year. Amen. And we're looking for a glorious time. I want to also announce, uh, just to say that uh, we have some graduates in the midst. Amen. 2022. Amen. And I don't see my uh, one of my babies, Michaela. Am I right with that? Got it. But I'm just going to say she is a graduate this year as well. And then I was uh, able to receive uh, Jaden Wood. Come on, somebody. His graduation. And this thing right here is cute, y'all. Y'all can't see that little picture of bow tie and top hat. You come on. Mama know how to embarrass you when you're young. Come on. But we thank God for the young man that he has grown to be. He's a very quiet man, handsome man. I tell him that all the time. I know he'd be like, oh, but he is, amen. He's graduating from Lansdowne High School and the Gover STEM Academy, and his graduation is on June 15th, amen, at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. And like we said for Youth Day Annual, we are godly proud of them because they are instrumental in the youth department, and so we thank God for them. And to all the babies that will be moving to their next grade, we congratulate you, amen. Amen. We bless the Lord for the school year, and God is a keeper. There's a lot going on, but he has kept our children, and for that we should give God a praise. Amen. And I will give the floor, uh, as our pastor has advised, and then I'll come back and, you know, just give us one more announcement. But we call her uh, Ashley's mama. Amen. <laughs> But we just wanted to uh, give her way to uh, speak some words because I know that she is saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, and she's praying, amen, for the babies, and you need to be happy. I'm excited with you of what the Lord is doing for them, but we're going to open this floor opportunity for you to say a word, amen. Good morning. Let's give God a hand clap of praise all over the house. It's, we give honor to God who is my life, the best dad ever. He is the best dad ever, so I just want to give honor to him and to the shepherd of this house, Elder Hughes, First Lady, Miss Hughes, Miss Vicki, how you doing? It's so good to see you. And we just want to thank you, God, for all of you allowing us to come back here again. We traveled 13 hours in a car with my mom, who, who just turned 81 in March, her sister, who's going to be 79, my sister Kay, my best cousin, and still people back at the house and people are coming for the blessed event, the graduation of Michaela and Jaden. And we are so excited. We're just like, I call Jaden, I'm like, are you ready for the invasion? Because it's a motley crew. We got people coming from all over the place. Just us is a lot. I think Elder Hughes has been around. We've had little gatherings and it's, it's a lot. But I just wanna, you know, I was sitting here and I thought about Jaden as he was a child. And I thought about Ashley and my mom and just how everyone has been so, um, play such a role as far as these children growing up in the way of the Lord. And it makes my heart glad to know that Sean has taken that responsibility as the man of the house and he, he don't tell his kids to come to church or he don't send his wife, he brings them, he comes with them. And I have seen Sean grow up and Ashley, we laugh because I always say she's my number one daughter because she is the firstborn, I have another daughter that's back in the house, but I've seen Ashley grow up in her spiritual walk, and she cannot do that without the, the hands and the heart and the arms and just the feet of Christ first, but then it's displayed here at St. Stephen's, and it just makes me so happy to know that she's in a place where I know she's in good hands. She's in God's hands, and every one of you evangelists, 
I can't tell you how much, you know, you have been such a blessing to Ashley and helping her walk as a woman. And that's what us senior women have to do for our young ladies. I think it's, um, where is it talks about how the older women have to train up the younger women, how to be wives and moms and, and men, you know, doing your job, being husbands and helping these young ladies to grow up and love their families. And I bless each and every one of you. Jaden and Michaela were just excited for them. And I know Sean knows I can talk and let me just stop. But I just wanted to just thank you guys for just being such a family to them. And I thank my mom and all my family for coming and traveling in the car with twins and babies and all kind of stuff. But God is good. I will say that he is good. And thank you guys and bless your anniversary. We wish we could come back, but we just got other stuff going on too. But we love you and we thank you and we just give God all the honor and glory and praise. So let's just give him a hand for all that he is, all that he's done, all that he's doing and all he's going to do here at St. Stephen's. Thank you. We bless the Lord for Ashley's mom and Ashley's mom's mom. Amen. And all the aunties. Amen. We haven't done this in a little bit, but I just want to acknowledge those who had birthdays between April, May, and this month. Amen. So if you've had a birthday, on behalf of our pastor and the congregation here at St. Stephen's, we celebrate you. We're excited that the Lord kept you. Amen. And know that we love you. Amen. And I think, oh, 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 and my girl, her birthday is today. Amen. And for that, let us sing happy birthday. Amen. Come on, choir. Come on. We need to sing it because it's your birthday is today. Amen. So that is all the announcements that I have. Please govern yourselves accordingly and know that I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. God bless you on today. And I pray that God will continue to bless each and every one of you. And I thank God for the visitors on today. Thank God for my son, Tony which I don't have to say that anymore because he's a member now of St. Stephen, so I don't have to welcome him anymore. But my baby sister is here, one of my baby sisters, Deborah, which she just loves hanging around us. So I don't know, we might have to put a hook into where she can't get away. <laughs> but we're praying and we're keeping them. At this time, we're about standing. and we're ready to, to go home. Thank God for the choir. I really enjoyed you all today. Maybe you can find me a seat up there somewhere. <laughs> but we really enjoyed you on today. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this day that you've allowed us, oh God, to be here. And thank you for your presence on today. Lord, we ask you to keep your people, oh God, as they leave this place, Lord, but not from your presence. Dispatch an angel about them, oh God, as they leave. And bless them, oh God, as they arrive at their destinations. And bless us, O oh God, to return at the appointed time. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen.